Talus International is the largest tech company to make its debut on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Not only that, but it's also a spin-off of one of the largest telecommunication companies in Canada. 30% price appreciation on its IPO. Should you be investing your money into this potential high-flying stock? Well, let's find out. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Donish. And every personal finance, investing, and real estate topics easy to understand and keep up with. If you live in Canada, you are likely familiar with the name TELUS, one of the largest telecommunication companies in the country, part of the big three telecom. But did you know that TELUS also has a digital consulting business named TELUS International? TELUS International is now a separate publicly traded company, separate from TELUS, the telecom company. Can you count how many times I've had to say tell us so far. As of February 3rd, 2021, the stock started trading on the New York Stock Exchange and the Toronto Stock Exchange under the symbol TIXT. And the proceeds will make it the largest initial public offering of a technology company in the history of the Toronto Stock Exchange. The share price rose 30% on its first morning of trading in Toronto after Telus International priced the IPO at US $25 overnight following its roadshow with investors. What began as a call center 15 years ago for TELUS has morphed into a full-blown suite of IT solutions and services. This is how the business is described today. TELUS International designs, builds, and delivers next-generation digital solutions to enhance the customer experience, also known as CX. This is for global and disruptive brands. The company's services support the full life cycle of its clients' digital transformation journeys and enable them to more quickly embrace next generation digital technologies to deliver better business outcomes. Clients include corporations in technology and games, communications and media, e-commerce and fintech, travel and hospitality, and healthcare industries. It has over 600 clients and includes some of the world's most recognized brand names, Google, Uber, TikTok, PayPal, and Zara. Telus Corp, the parent company, still retains about two thirds of the voting power of Telus International. Now that it's a separate public entity, Telus International is looking to aggressively boost its service offerings, having recently acquired the firm Linebridge AI, the data automation business, which provides crowd-based training data to power machine learning capabilities, such as labeling text images, video, and audio in more than 300 languages for social media, search, retail, and of course, mobile. The purchase price of the deal was $1.2 billion in cash. But the company isn't done just yet. It plans to go after future acquisitions in order to boost its service offerings. There are two main opportunities for TELUS International. One, digital transformation of customer experience systems, known as DX. It is estimated that this market was worth $147 billion in 2019, and it's expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate, known as CAGR, of 21% from 2019 to 2023. The second strategy, Digital Customer Experience Management, known as DCXM. It is estimated that the global market for DCXM was worth $6 billion in 2018. This market is expected to grow at a CAGR of 20 to 25% in 2021. As a potential investor into Telus International, this is exactly the kind of news you want to hear. Not only do you want to see that the company is growing, but the market that the company is positioned in is also expected to grow. And it helps if the, that projection is 20 to 25%. The other piece is that with the ongoing rise in the use of social media, there is increasing demand for contextualized and personalized consumer experience through data management. In other words, brands now understand the ability of the consumer to share their experiences and potentially impact a brand's reputation for better or for worse. We'll look at the financials. This is what I see. Sharply growing top line revenue, going from $1 billion in 2019 and finishing 2020, close to $1.6 billion. Increased net income and cash flow from operations going from 69 million in 2019 to around 100 million in 2020. The third piece, a very healthy and growing EBITDA, which has gone from $225 million to close to $400 million. As an investor, I get very excited 
when I see numbers and growth like this, this is exactly what you want to see. So why did Telus spin off their consulting business? According to its CEO, Telus International no longer has to rely on and draw away from Telus in order to fuel and support its growth. Instead, it can use its free cash flow to fund everything from future acquisitions, growth, and retain and hire talented staff. On the flip side, don't forget that the main parent company, Telus, still has about two thirds voting power, which means that the growth of Telus International will not only benefit its own shareholders, but also the shareholders of the parent company, Telus. Telus International has positioned itself to help drive the next generation in the customer service experience. Let me ask you this. How many times have you found yourself waiting on the phone just to get through a customer service rep who walks you through some basic steps that you could have easily Googled? And if you want detailed help, you have to jump through multiple hoops, go through multiple layers of customer service just to get the help you need. According to Telus International, the future still sees humans playing a key role in the customer service experience. But going forward, they will become more and more specialized and highly trained to customize the technology experience. So what does that mean? Well, it means that a customer service rep of the future, for example, could help a calorie counting consumer reprogram their smart fridge so that the fridge could order its next run of groceries through drone delivery. But that doesn't really help with waiting on the phone, does it? While these repeatable customer service interactions should become faster and more predictable for the consumer. For example, let's say someone just needs their password reset from a secure login portal like a bank. The password reset process should be more automated to make it easier and more consistent for the user. Instead of seeing a telephone script like this, where you might be placed on hold, transferred to another agent, or told that someone will follow up in an X number of days. To me, this whole phone the customer service helpline, wait for them, go through multiple hoops, to me it's a very frustrating process. And I don't know about you guys, but in my mind, there has got to be a better way to customize and make this process much easier and more automated, especially with the digital tools we have in place today. This is why I think this area is primed for disruption. Telus International has posted revenue growth of 17% in just its first nine months of 2020 and plans to keep growing through acquisitions, new clients, and deeper relationships with their existing client base. Even though Canada is not known for its tech companies, there are many companies who have listed on the TSX and have found success. Let's actually look at some examples. Shopify had an IPO at around $17 per share back in May of 2015. And look where it's now, up over 4,000%. Tell us the main parent company has been around since 1995, and today is considered one of the strongest dividend players in the Canadian market, along with some capital appreciation along the way. Constellation Software, IPO'd back in May of 2006, started trading around $18 on opening day. And today, the price is over $1,600. CGI started trading in the late 90s, and after four different stock splits, the stock price today is close to $100. Open Text has been around since 1998, and today, it's gone up over 2,000% and has been steadily growing its dividends along the way. Lightspeed POS IPO'd back in 2019 and was trading for under $20 a share. And since then, it's grown over 400% and the price is now approaching $100. These names have done very well for their shareholders. Will Telus International do the same? If you've already missed the boat on Shopify, Constellation Software, Open Text, and many other names, Telus International could be your shot. Remember before investing, Please make sure you do your own due diligence. Don't just take my word for it on any ETF or stock pick. I'm just another random internet stranger. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't take the word of any random internet stranger, whether it's me or someone else. There is no shortcut for doing your own due diligence. Assess any investment. Does it match your investor profile? Are you comfortable with the risk slash reward ratio? As any investment is not a guarantee, you can lose your money. So please do your due diligence and don't be caught on the wrong side of a falling stock. I have links to promo codes in the description below for various discounts and sign-up bonuses. This helps directly support the channel so I can continue making content like this. So please do check them out. Do you have questions for me? Feedback on this video 
or maybe ideas on future content, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That's it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.